Australia's Cathy Freeman, a world champion after the race of her life. A landmark High Court ruling on tobacco and alcohol taxes. The search is in Threadbow under growing pressure as the weather closes in. Good evening. At a time when Australia could do with some good news, Cathy Freeman has delivered, achieving an historic double in Athens. The 24-year-old became the first Australian woman and the first Aborigine to win gold at the World Athletic Championships, holding on for a tenacious victory in the 400 metres. Whatever nerves Cathy was feeling, it didn't show at the warm-up. The smallest and youngest in the event, the Australian drew the inside lane one. Freeman out pretty hard. At the turn, she was in the right position to win, but there was a ton of work still to be done. Gagan Boyer, Freeman's with them in lane one. Can Cathy lift? She is lifting. She's just in front of the Aussie. I think she's got them. Miles Clark comes at her. Cathy hanging on. Yes, she's done it. She's won it. At first, Cathy was confused about the result. Nobody else was. Freeman's got it. Our only other track and field world champion, Robert Di Costella, marvelled at her courage. What a run, what strength over that last hundred metres. Three years ago at the Commonwealth Games, Cathy drew criticism for accepting and carrying the Aboriginal flag back to back with the official Aussie banner. Now it looks all so harmless. Well, it was there. I mean, I can't just not take it. I mean, but, oh, no, I'm a proud girl tonight. <laughs> Very proud girl. Even though Cathy's run made history, she wasn't completely satisfied. Technically, probably wasn't one of my best runs. And, you know, there were times when I didn't think I was going to make it. So it's been pretty emotional. <laughs> Then the best moment of all. Once again fully focused after a difficult year, Cathy now has her eyes set on next year's Commonwealth Games in the lead up to the Sydney Olympics. Ken Sutcliffe, National 9 News. The state government's budget plans have been thrown into confusion by a High Court ruling that it cannot charge excise on tobacco and alcohol. It will cost the New South Wales Treasury nearly $2 billion a year and may accelerate the push for a major reform of the tax system. It was, in the words of one High Court judge, a high-risk strategy. Two Cabramatta tobacco wholesalers wanted state franchise fees declared invalid. In turn, the states led by New South Wales up the ante by trying to overturn decades of constitutional law which stopped them imposing taxes on goods. What has happened today is that the High Court...